guys, it's Terry. I have some things to share with you that I've been making over just a couple of days, I guess, really. Um, this I made a while ago. It's kind of cheesy, but we love it. I made it out of a, I think it was a cracker box of some sort, and I just liked it, and it's our movie book. So what we do in here is it's, you know, a junk journal, of course, uh, just made with lots of junk journal. And what I've done in here is put lists of movies that we'd like to see, movies that we have seen, and what we feel about them. Oh, look at that. There's the Nanny Warhol um, banana from the Velvet Underground that I got with the, you know, this is a truly in the, in the junk journal genre. Uh, two signatures, kind of wobbly. But in any case, it's a fun journal that we put our tickets in here. We saw November Man 2. Um, we saw The Giver, which was, I think, interesting. Um, we both liked it very much. It was kind of fun and cool and scary at the same time. And possibly a message from the government and someone, you know, um, the man. And so we also watched... Um, the, what's it called, Rich? What movie do we see today? School of Rock. The School of Rock with uh, with um, Jack Black, and um, I had never seen that, and it just was so cute. Really, it's just a funny, fun set. Because after our garage sale today, we had a garage sale today. It didn't turn out well, so after that, we needed some cheering up because we did a lot of work to get ready for it, and then it rained and rained and rained. And we weren't undercover, so it was more like yard sales, put it that way. Anyway, this is a little book with two signatures in it, and it's got all kinds of fun stuff in it. I put, like, some bridge. My mom used to play bridge, and so that makes me happy to have bridge stuff in it. And just a few, few little things that we can write about our movies, so that's that. Then, um, I don't know if you guys saw my end of summer book, but I made a beginning of fall book, and I put a flower that was summer like but um it's a hair tie it comes off and i used an old skirt that was like a patchwork kind of leather skirt and i made a denim like art journal sort of thing it's not really an art journal it's more like a pocket book for my little notes that i like to send to myself so but it can be expandable and i sewed it with one signature very shabbily I made some pen pockets, so I have some pens in here. They're not great pens, but they're writing instruments. Just plant it in this pen. If anybody knows that, they write in purple, which is really fun. And uh, these are just um, envelopes that I put together, made some pockets for, and I'm tucking in notes like I did at the end of summer, just about what's well, something that might have happened to me that day, or something that I want to work out in my head. Um, some little um, pictures of you know doodling on black paper. I got some new black paper with some metallic markers. So I'm just gonna have some fun with this and fill it up and call it like a beginning of fall book. I also went to Walmart the other day, which was a hideous experience. I please, please, it was hideous. Our Walmart has everything on the floor, nothing on the shelves. It's it's disgusting, and it's a brand new store, so I don't even know what's, what's going on over there. If they need workers, then they should hire some folks, because it's really sad. In any case, this was a, I thought it said ID. Well, apparently it's One Dimension, which is a band, which I didn't know anything about. But they're these rad, is that a word at all that we can use? I'm sure I'm literally, like, dating myself terribly. But it's all these, like, cute young preteen boys, I guess, who are in a boy band. And I covered the front of it with some pattern paper, and then I doodled all over it and painted it and thought it was wrapped up, and then I really liked it again <laughs> at the end. But it's nice. It's really sturdy. It's got a great little binder. I threw a, a little tiny flower on it, and I'm working with it. Um, this is, like, going to be more of a bullet journal than anything else. Um, here I made just a little, you know, something you could pop out to show my page date. I've got some... Um, little stupid stuff that I did yesterday in it, and towards the end I have some notes. Um, so it's, you know, it's going to serve its little purpose for whatever that's going to be. It's just going to be like a note holder book, bullet journal type of thing. I also made a book um, for 
pictures for the fall because I like to have, I guess people call them day books or event books or whatever. So I think fall is an event. Um, there's a lot of things that happen in fall like Thanksgiving and um, Halloween and just the changing of the seasons here in Pennsylvania is really pretty. I don't like winter, but I do love fall. And I'm very sorry to see summer go, but fall is being pretty nice so far. And it is, uh, in my style, I've got some pros over here. <laughs> Painted papers that I'm sure Shad and Green and others have taught me how to do. And they're just going to be filled up with photographs because I think I can get some 4 by 6s at least 3 by 5s on there. I haven't figured it out. And I just closed it with a little brad and another little brad and some, you know, bungee cord, whatever you call it, uh, elastic. And bungee cord. Yeah, I'm going to get bungee cord. And, um, this, these are just two wings to represent uh, Richard and myself being free together, flying together. Um, and but yet being free at the same time because we don't try to hold each other down in any way and we like to be our own people um, but yet we like to fly together most times. Here's some fabric that I got some Crayola paint markers at the GW, the Goodwill, I call it the Goodwill, the GW and I just made this crazy pattern. You may have seen this on another book. I also made another little tiny book that is um, got a Mary Atelier's uh, idea for the brad that you put like a little disc behind it. And this is just going to be my stick it in my pocket in case I want to do some art or if we go on a little trip somewhere like to a hotel or something. We're going to go to see the Black Keys next weekend. We were planning on maybe staying over the night, but I don't think we're going to. It's in Philadelphia, so I think we could just do it, you know, and come home that night. But. Um, if we should, I might want to capture some moments in there and it's the back of it. And it's just a bunch of different little types of paper. Um, I also made this book out of, I'm not sure if this is grunge board or not, but it's kind of fun. I used this little hair tie to close it. Got a little um, homemade, uh, what do you call it, Sculpey clay or whatever um, heart that I painted up and had fun with. And then... There are a lot of different pages within it. I haven't really done anything to it yet, nor do I know what I'm going to do with it, but it's, it's there. Um, I got all these black envelopes from work. They were just throwing out this whole big thing of black envelopes. I was like, no, I'm saving them. So that's what the black paper is. And I just did some painting and made it pretty for myself to work in at some point um, and used this little kid's sort of hairband as the closure. Then the last book that I made most recently was this book, which is made out of grunge board, the Tim Holtz stuff I got on sale. I made a little outside honey doodly doodle doo doo, which is pretty with um, red and white beads. And I have a whole bunch of stuff and I never use it, so I'm like pulling out the hoard stuff, right? I guess that's what the wings were about. and. And this little blingy goo, do I like that. Um, I painted the inside, and most of this is pattern paper, and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use this, but I, I girlied it up a little bit. I put a shoe on there. Here's a little pocket I made out of some um, plastic that I had. And it's just basically one signature pamphlet stitch with different papers and stamping. You guys know the whole drill there, um, I'm sure. But if you have any questions, certainly ask me. These are just all different um, stamps that I use. I, I wasn't feeling good one night, and I just sat in bed and just, like, you know, had my papers in front of me on, like, a board that I have from an old paper, uh, wallpaper book and just stamped them up. You know, sometimes you just need to just chill, right? Do we all need to chill? Say yay, amen, Kara. We all need to chill. Um, so this is the book. It's kind of... And there's the other side of it, the signature. And I, I had trouble with this. I don't really do brad. Uh, I do brads well, but I don't really do eyelids well. And yet I have a big bite, but I don't know how to use it. So if anybody wants to lend a hand. I did put some tape on the edge of this, decorative tape on the edge of this, to keep it from pulling over through the, the grunge board. But so that's what I'm up to. I hope you guys are having some fun. And 
doing very well. Um, it's a rainy Saturday here in the Pennsylvania area, it'll be east, uh, eastern, eastern Pennsylvania, um, and we're having a good time now. So I hope you are as well. All the best. Hope all is well. Thank you.